Welcome to this video on sales processing. BCSS is point of sale software plus some important additional features. When a consignment is sold, in addition to removing the item from inventory, the program credits the consigner and shop accounts with the appropriate amounts and prepares a settlement document in the background for processing later. BCSS also processes rentals and layaways. All important information and common tasks are on the surface for easy access and viewing. These are the most common reports. These are the most common tasks. When a sale record is selected, details of the transaction appear here. The number of records in the table can be reduced by using these time period buttons. The daily sales recap is quickly accessed by pressing F9 on the keyboard, then selecting Preview Print. The report shows the date, sales for the day, sales per employee if applicable, how purchases were paid, sales before tax, a consigner's percentage, buy outright cost, employee commissions, profit and loss, sales taxes, and any activities and layaways. More detailed reports can be generated by going to Reports, selecting Sales, and making settings on this page to define what information is to be included in the report, like the date range, for example. Let's configure the program for your shop. Click on File, then Program Setup, then Sales. Enter the applicable sales tax rates here in decimal form and check any of these options. With this option checked, Cash Sale will be entered as the name of the buyer on the invoice. Check this box to have the option of entering actual names and contact information. For Diamond and Virtual Editions of BCSS, Check this box to have a list of buyers pop up for each sale and check this to activate the buyer's work area. Check this box to enable the rewards program and set the dollar rate to be granted as rewards points. Checking this box will make buttons and fields on the sales screen larger. The cash drawer can be opened by pressing F12 if this box is checked and the correct port number is entered here. Check other options as desired. The header and footer text are stored in the BCSS folder and can be edited to change the wording that appears on full sheet sales invoices. An optional module passes credit card costs onto consigners at settlement and or to buyers at purchase. When activated, those options appear in these blank spaces. Click Save and Exit. There are a few ways to open a new sale. The most common is to press F6 on the keyboard or click here on New Sale. Note that the cursor is ready in the barcode field for a scan. Scan the barcode to populate the invoice with the information about an item. An item can be added by clicking on Select and choosing an item from the list. An item can be entered by entering the item ID and pressing Enter. An unlisted item can be entered by entering a description, a price, and selecting the consigner. Note that the program assigned an item ID. A sale can be put on hold and finished later. An item can be removed by selecting it and clicking Remove Item. The entire invoice can be cleared by clicking Clear Screen. Check this box to designate a layaway and complete these fields for the layaway payment schedule. Discounts can be entered per line item as a percentage of the total invoice or as a dollar amount of the total invoice. The buyer's information can be entered here and here. The cost of the last item is displayed here as well as the lowest price the owner is willing to accept for an item. 
a reseller ID can be entered and the invoice can be made non-taxable. The shop owner can set a credit limit in a client's record which will appear here. After all items have been entered choose a payment method. If a credit card is selected the amount of the sale will be entered as the amount tendered. If cash is the payment method entering the amount tendered will show the amount due here. If payment for the sale is split between two pay methods select the payment method and enter the amount. Then check this box select the second payment method and enter the amount remitted. Again the change due will appear here. The amount of the credit card surcharge will appear here and can be changed. Click on Save Preview Print to print a receipt and save the sale or just click on Save to save the sale. The screen will be cleared for the next transaction. Note that five invoices can be opened at any one time so if the person on invoice number one wants to look for something else click on invoice number two and check out the next person. Because sales can be set aside note that the Windows Close button has been disabled to avoid losing unsaved sales. To close the sales screen use Terminate Session. Sales records appear in the table in the sales work area. Reprint a receipt by selecting a sale and choosing Print Sale. To process a sale for a client who has store credit select the person from the list and select Credit Sale. The amount of available credit will be shown as the second payment. Enter an additional amount tendered as Payment 1 if applicable. The options under Sales on the main menu are global in nature. When the sales screen is open for the first time each day, the program processes discounts for aging items. Discounts can also be processed manually here. Please refer to the User's Guide for more information about these other features.